Now in Revit 2025.3, you have access to nature and subnature based on code. In analysis, you will go on load case and combination. Now in Revit, you can select the country and the design code. So here I will select Great Britain and last Eurocode British standard. So now your dead loads and live loads, you can select precisely what is it. You have, for example, all the category and snow. So let's go for structural dead load and live load category A. Okay. So once you've done that, you need to synchronize in robot the preference. So here I will move to Great Britain. Okay. And it will set my Eurocode by default with British standard annexes. So here, if I look in loads, I have the same regulation. So it's better to save because it won't be synchronized. So I will create a new job preference called British standards Eurocode. So once you have done that, you can come back to Revit and in Revit, you will be able to send this model to robot. And of course, it will keep the code in it. But what is nice, after you can directly create the full combination. So you will go directly, just verify if the relation is set. It is because it's the same. If you double check, you can see that, for example, live, well, dead load is dead load, but live loads, you have category A defined already. So, and live load, dead load for structural. So after you run the analysis to create the combination, of course, you can do it with a very small file at the beginning just to set it. And then you can have a look. And of course, now, you will come back to Revit and you will import the result if needed, but you will have the full combination. So just have to update. And then if you come back to the load case and combination, it's populated by all the combination from robot. And you can see there is ULS, SLS, SLS quasi-permanent, Thank you for watching.